Lord Jesus, keep us in an intimate fellowship with God so that we may be good friends. Lord, take us on with you until we pray not merely as a man to God in heaven, but pray to God as a friend. We want to live by day and day in intimate fellowship with God and become good friends. In your name we pray. Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Sunday. November 12, 2023. This is Love World, taking you open heaven, a guide to close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is an evil language. And the last one will never see so I'm out in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is becoming intimate with God. Becoming intimate with God. I'm in fashion we find the book of Psalm 26, verse 8. I read Lord, I have loved the habitation of the house and the place where the honor dwelleth to become intimate. With God, the major things you will need to sacrifice is time. The more time you spend with someone, the more you will become like that fellow. God love it where we spend quality time with him. Too much that it befit you and spend more time with you than any other person. The difference between spending your time for him and with him is in Luke 10, 38 to 42. Martha was spending a time serving Jesus, and that is good. But he said Mary are choosing what was needful by sitting at his feet to hear his word. The time you spend doing the work of God is good. But what is more needful is the time you spend at his feet hearing his word. There are many churches, worker, and pastor who only read and study their Bible. Pray or hear the word of God. When they come to church, you cannot become intimate with God. That way, God wants people to love spending quality time with Him, whether in church or alone, just because they love Him as dutifully as David was. He just loved to spend time in the presence of God. Psalm 26 verse 8 that is why God said in 1 Samuel 13 verse 14 that David was a man after his heart. To become intimate with God, you must never be satisfied with how close you are to him now. You must constantly remain hungry for his word and his presence. Those who will be intimate with God will never be satisfied with how much of him they know. They will keep studying more, praying more, fasting more, or it may be to know him more. Apostle Paul said in Philippians 3 verse 10 that I may know him. You begin to wonder with all the revelation and encounter that Apostle Paul has gotten. He was saying he wanted to know God. Believe me honestly, the day you feel as if you already know him and love of God, is the day you begin to draw further from him. You will no longer know the things you thought you knew before. If you stop growing, you start dying. If you decided not to get closer to God, you will start getting closer to devil. This is race track you are on, not a highway with bus stop. Once you stop moving, you are taking off the race track. Brethren, becoming God a timid friend is very important. I want us to read the book of Psalm 119, verse 97 to 112, and our Bible in one year, Art 4, verse 5, our hymn in 22, Sweet Hour of Prayer. Sweet Hour of Prayer. 
Our key points for today how much time you are willing to spend in fellowship with Christ will determine how intimate you will be with Him. How much time you are willing to spend in fellowship with Christ will determine how intimate you will be with Him. And I pray, my Father in heaven, will be your friend and will help you throughout the life in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, this is Love All. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family, and goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day and bye for now. God bless you. Happy weekend and happy Sunday.